Zero Dawn. For those who haven't played it yet. And thank God the Easter holiday is over. They don't have two terrible little twins to deal with. Thank God they ain't mine. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's continue on. Probably should hide my face, shouldn't I? It's all about the game, people. It's all about the game. Camera off. Thank you. <clears throat> Jeez, what was I up to? Uh, I forget now. Um, oh, that's right. We just got out of the finding Owen. We spared his life. We might, we might if the mood strikes me, go help his wife and ch child. No, I will. I think now we're going to go see... Um, Ba 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 ba. What's his name? Uh, I forget his name. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Call my loyal steed first. Oops. Go to make his end. Make his end, huh? Oh, there he is. Uh, Aaron, yeah. I think, if I remember correct. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. That's a long ass way, too. How far is that? And there's a cauldron on the way. I guess I could go do that one, couldn't I? Yeah, bugger. It'll go to that cauldron as well. I probably shouldn't have called you. You can stay right there for the moment. Stay. Stay. Good. Need to harvest some parts. Sorry. So what the hell was that? Whoa, that was a perfect shot. Come on, turn around this way. Come on. My arm is getting tired. <laughs> almost there, almost there, almost there. Let's do this. Okay. Yay! Give me parts. Wire is probably the most important one I want, really. I wonder if it was like a scrapper robot. It's probably what those crabs are. They just come along and anything get destroyed, you get scrapped and rebuilt again. <laughs> oh, what was it I needed to keep an eye out for? Some. Ugh. I'll, I'll find, um. Find it on the way. Was there one more? Nope, I believe that was it. So the yeah, other main objective is a K in a bit away. A K in a bit away, a K in a bit away. Now let's see. Oh. Coaching happen. Or just glitching. I'm glad that's over with. Thanks for the help. No, it works. Because I'm a redhead with attitude. Come on over here and have a word. 
In a minute. Hold your knickers. I'm gathering parts. Yeah. Come on, what are you waiting for? Gathering parts, leave me alone. What, you don't feel like talking? No, not at the moment. What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight, at least. Don't get used to it. Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. Or maybe she thought... Uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Eric. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, They'll be sorry, too. Yeah. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No. But it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Hmm. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us. And Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They've been licking their wounds for two years, but they finally found a way to get back at her. Bastards. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cleft. Hmm. Hey, this is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. These look like drag marks. Arrows scattered there. Those blood stains are not the kind that would pull around a corpse. A shadow card just spirit. Must be Shadow Karja armor. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? The stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were 
killed somewhere else. But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. Just thinking to myself, how come you like they didn't look further along down the line? Like, like surely there'd be a pretty big clue. Like, if you saw that, it's like, hang on a minute, what the hell is this? It's a big cart and there's more blood splatter. Like, you'd think they'd do like a wide search of the area, but eh, whatever. I get why they wanted Ursa dead. Why fake an ambush? There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. This is gonna casually jog. <laughs> Ooh. Here we go. <sighs> Cup and some necklaces. There we go. Here we go, Gavna. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? Wasn't expecting a girl. <laughs> Coming. Oof. Did you see that coming? Biatch. What's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Full speed, boys. Let's go. Come here, kitty, kitty. Oh, I can't override it. Oh, well. Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. But first, it's parts time. Give me parts. Ah, good. 
I was wondering when I was going to get a heart of the machine yet. The heart of the machine. <laughs> I'm a Warhammer nerd, so I mean. Alrighty. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. Those rocks, they're shattered. These look like vanguard weapons. What are those leather straps? So much blood. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. A lot of people died here. A massacre. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. This is Ursus Hellman. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it, on that tripod up there. It... fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. Then why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursus' face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor. Someone around the same size. And mutilated it enough, so it could have been anyone. Even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Daybreak. Yesterday's gone. Hmm. Now, what shall we do? What shall we do? Oops. Wrong button. Now, I could go all the way back to Meridian and continue on this thing. But it looks like it's just a side conquest. A side conquest, idiot. <laughs> or I could continue on. Ooh. And there's a tall neck here. And a cauldron here. You know what? We'll go to the tall neck. And then we'll continue on with there. And go to the main mission. Or storyline, I should say. And then on the way back, go to the cauldron. And then go here. We'll do that. Yeah. Did I 
really have to go. Oh, I do too. I thought it was in the other direction. <laughs> Just thinking to myself, it's the, the Ptolemy that's in the, I think it's in a, ca a canyon area. I think I needed a boar skin anyway. Boar bones, something I could use. Still going the right way. Shoot, the cauldron's even closer now. Because <laughs> I honestly thought I needed. Oh, you know what? I could have gone that way and gone to the tall neck. Mm -hmm. Freaking dicky. <sighs> you know, I'll still, I'll still do it. I'll still go to the. Um, I wonder if he's using the wrong errands. <sighs> um, yeah, I'll go to the tall neck first. Still, yeah, follow, follow the schedule. Because I do believe it is in a canyon of some description. Or is it out in the? <gasps> no, it's out in the desert. Uh... Oh, look how close I am to the cauldron. Oh, should I go? I'll go to the tall man. Yeah, tall man. I couldn't tell if that was ruins or actual st uh, proper structures, but then it just rendered it so I was like, yep, it's actual structures. <laughs> Oh, okay, no, we're leaving. We are leaving. Okay, did not think this out. <laughs> uh, okay, do have to go all the way around. <laughs> At least this horse, uh, but he obeys you. I'm like, but he's someone from Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> That's sending the signal. I need to find a way up to the tall neck's head. I think I can leave. <laughs> Alright, 
actually forgot this uh, area. Okay, time to climb up to its head. Well, Mark Hamlin. these moves machines actually just monitor how much uh, creatures they've developed so, you know make sure they have enough to like win the rule and they were, oh you'll find it eventually Looks like it's gonna take care of them, but whoa! does carry a lot. Get out of this. Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> cause any more trouble.
Time to go, time to go, time to go. Her name is Elizabeth Sobek. You spying through my focus again. Go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course before long. You'll know her as well as I do. Some big boys. How does he know these things? He said Elizabeth Sobek. What kind of name is that? Said it would be. <laughs> you better not be following me. <laughs> Guess I could sell that. Selection. Guess I could sell that one. I've already got two. to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. We'll talk later. Wait! <sighs> Damn him. <laughs> Wait! Are you my father? <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go. Whoop, okay. I'm ready. Uh-oh. Corrupted watchers. Acting as guards. Eclipse, just like he said. Mm. Oh, pardon. Whoops. <laughs> That's what I call a fire sale. Not really. Whoa. These dig sites, they're massive. Oh, yeah. Yay! 
Yay! Mm, no. No! No, 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 Didn't they do? Night, night. Either the signal is very weak here, or it's the snow. At least there's no alarms here, that's a plus, and there's a corruptor. You know, for a machine, you'd think they'd have such good, better scanners to like, see through brush and shit like this. Like you'd think. Hmm. Oh well, guess I didn't think of everything. happen. Woohoo! First things first, deal with that corruptor. Go down, corruptor. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> uh, I sound like an idiot. <laughs> now we find a 
find out what all that racket is. And I use that with the big frickin' bow. Idiot! Eat your wat. Rat burgers tonight. Deathbringers Olin talked about. Fitting name. I'll never get into that tower. Unless I destroy that thing first. Over here! It stopped working. I was sick to this focus. focus was empty. No! Steam's blasting out. I wonder if those are weak points. think, like, given that the United States has some of the biggest weapon caches in the world, you would think uh, you'd be able to pick up a, a modern weapon and modify it and they gave you to bleed. Oh, really? I'll teach you to burn. Found me. What are you gonna do about me? <laughs> Did it. Those things pack a punch. All right. That eclipse officer had a focus. Let's see what's on it. Uh, before that, I get rid of some things. Yep. Definitely get rid of you. purple and what this death bringer has got yeah got a lot do some looting I move on yeah that's enough focus let's see what you have to say Did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. This tower 
tight, but I can squeeze through. Mm. Hold for identity scan. Could be anything in the trees. You're sharp, Aloy. Doctor Selbeck, you are three hundred and fifty-five thousand five hundred and ten days out of day for your meeting with Mister Fair. Please proceed to the thirty-fifth floor. Wait, wait, wait. Three hundred and fifty thousand. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Three hundred and fifty thousand. That's not too bad, considering the rejuvenation of humanity. use polyphasic entangled waveforms quantum encryption black court stuff way beyond military grade that's what you demanded so that's what we delivered you don't code something you can't crack all we need is a backdoor upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away you specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code every protocol to black court standard your words look if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts Timor Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Sounds bad. Mm-hmm. statue of one anyway a machine about to kill and they honored it welcome to feral automated solutions where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today with over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe Faro leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining fully automated technology from revolutionary consumer products close to home like the Faro focus to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Pharaoh remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Pharaoh Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So... They made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Continuing on. What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people, not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. 
They'll help you understand. Hmm. Now I know this must seem like a bizarre. Ch so they were making machines. Oops. Then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons. Why? <laughs> Whoops! Jumped the gun on that one. Uh, where is it? Now I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. Ah, I get it. Fuck that up. Actually, no. You know what? I want to want to hear it. Now I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Faro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me. We will be exploiting a massive, uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. Hmm. The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. Probably something called clean. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay, no, we're going down. Nope, we don't want to go down. We want to go up. Hmm. Another cave in. But I could get through. Myself. Let's see if I can climb here. <laughs> Kaka. <laughs> shit myself. <sighs> oh my god. over here. The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations, or control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. 
<laughs> All right, let's see what this one is. The BOR7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were Faro machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. Then how would you ever stop them? <laughs> the ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions, from 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models, and you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. It sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. Hmm, Scarab. I don't you prefer that name before, before Corruptors? <laughs> yeah. Alright. I guess I got a bit of information on them. Let's see what's over here. An office. Any goodies in here? Yes, or some power goodies. Notebook. Noted. Notebook noted. Okay. Oops. So people were angry at Faro, at the corporation. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Dr. Sobek. Well, you're not making it easy for Ah, oh, damn it, I can't go to the... Uh, uh, can't go to the actual world map. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, I guess I can too. Offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. 
And a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Oh, yeah. Should have brought a cart. I don't think we need a cart. <laughs> Leave a face. gonna keep me alert. Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. There's gonna be extra extra stuff if I go the long way around. <laughs> cool. Money on the ninth floor. Vertigo. <laughs> I got vertigo. <laughs> oh, my toes felt that one. Uh. I'd have to ditch something. This is only the 12th floor. I thought we were going to the level uh, 35. All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy alpha privileges to recover merged data? Oh yes, I believe I do. The phone has been recovered. <laughs> Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms us. All right, this promises to be interesting. Hmm. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. <clears throat> Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. 
Another file has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. I'm fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I do? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking the fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Damn. Just... Damn! The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final foe has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. solution is so terrible. What does she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. <sighs> this, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching and I'm still no closer. If that's your reaction to everything you just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the Old Ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. <laughs> All right.
right, Silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. Mm -hmm. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. A common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Mm-hmm, getting snippy, are we? So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom, with a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. <laughs> you said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. <clears throat> Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this... personal. I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. Hmm. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How's that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. 
How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Hmm. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. Mm. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners have better be improved. Soon, <laughs> <laughs> down will be a lot faster than going up, at least. You will spill that command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Uh, oh, pardon me. <clears throat> well, that certainly is. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, getting a bit yawny. I was just wondering where she's pulling all that bloody cable. Like pulling out of her ass or something? <laughs> Jesus. Trees are thick. Hard to line up a shot. Alright, so where are we going? Oh, my damn. Just, oh my damn! That's right, that's the DLC part. I might do that later, but... Right. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Corrupted zone. There's corrupted robots. Uh, I guess I could go take care of them. Um... Oh, oh sorry. I keep yawning. Next stop, the cauldron. Got to unlock some more machines, and I might I'll go to the tall neck and span the map a bit more. And um, go to the oh, side mission. Of finding out Ursa's killers.
Jesus! Good out of him. Oh, I'm full. Jesus. Got too much already. Well, that's all I can have. Oh wow. Hmm. Alright, inventory. Um. Ah, the guy's crouching. Get out of these ones. Oh, time to find out, I guess.
Jesus. Don't think I'm going to try that anytime again, anytime soon. <laughs> oh god, look at all the resources I wasted. See what these big boys have got. Eh. Ooh, yes. Where's the other ones? Is it just two of them? I think it was. Perfect. Yep, exactly what I was looking for. Is it just two of them? I think it was. <whistles> oh, look, I got another one. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go. I guess I could clear out this encampment on my way. Yeah, bugger it. Let's kill these eclipse bastards. There's the alarm, okay. Casual about it. Just yeah. An alarm. Can't let them get to it. Can I disable the damn thing from here? No calling in reinforcements. here yes I am but you're dead something there oh there's a whole of them computer mouse Jesus Take it in the face.
Even more loot. Don't think they appreciate it, me looting. More loot. Even more. Oh no! Wait, no, 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 no. Found them. Oh, yay! Clear the game. <sighs> sell and buy stuff yes it is. now what did I need for another one of these purple bows I don't think I'll use okay so I've got all the heart pieces I need for this one so I need goose skin rat skin and a raccoon skin I don't think they're useful I just I don't, I don't, I don't particularly know I'm pretty sure I own no, I don't, so it's that one. That one I want. And what do I need us? Oh! Um, Shell Walker. Oh. oh, Jesus. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember what that was. Um. Oh. Um, well, let's have a look. Sorry, I'm researching on my phone here. Um, oh, the crabs, right. I know what I'm looking for now. So I have these heart piece. I've already got one, so another one I need is a... They're called snap jaws. It's that crocodile looking one. Alright, that's fair. Tripcaster. Mm. Yeah, I already got that double bar. I think I've already got like a blue version. Yeah, I got a blue version of it. That one might become more useful. Okay. I used to know. We work all day while the nobles fiddle with their robes. See what type of machines I can override. Oops, wrong button. Now I'm hoping this cauldron doesn't have the unspeakable that I'm thinking of. Oh, it's got mines. Shoot. I think it is. I think it does. Oh, 
dear. That's not good. I think it does. Focus can't see them when they're cloaked. Well, let's try and go on with the big. I hate those ones. Let's see if we get a heart part out of them. That's a negative. And uh, negative. Oh well. This is a watcher just casually up there. This one, I think I have to get creative. Yep. Well, not really. Easy. Oops. Gotta hold the button. Sorry, I keep looting. <laughs> uh. 
I'm gonna do this, you know what? Oi! I was nowhere near it! Is there any food on PS4? Um, yeah, still the same, I would say. Well, I'd say it's a little bit more beautiful on here, just a little bit more, a little bit more depth and detail, but yeah, I'd still say it's just as good on PS4. Alright, I really don't want to take this thing on, but oh well, here we go, the Overrider Cauldron. Stock up on arrows. I would say so, man. The story plot is ridiculous. It's always fun to try and take it down a big lizard like this. to get off this thing is that. There we go. Woo! Oh, Jesus, that was close. Ah! No!
<laughs> but the one thing I do have around me is uh, where the blue is on my health on the top left hand there. Uh, you can actually you get to play for the entire campaign to unlock the uh, this uh, sh well, shield in a sense. Ugh, God, I hate taking on these things. Try and go for the weak parts of it. Got it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Replenished. So, all right. You better give me some good stuff. Full already. Yeah, I already got enough of those. Uh, but yes, I would say the game is definitely worth it, man. Whoops, wrong button. Watcher. There's a the big pot it fell off. Where am I gonna shove that? <laughs> Alright, overriding. Let's see what machines I can override now. Stormbirds and everything else like that. Oh, it's only three. Wow, okay. That's not a hell of a lot. Alrighty. Um... Well, since I'm more closer to Meridian, I think I might go there next to help um, Aaron with her missing sister and then I'll go back towards back to the secret lands and up to US robot command <laughs> yeah but I'm making my good detour to this tall neck over here so I could see I could see yay any hoosies Please with me. It's like, bitch, you hit me. Make my way to the door, Nick. It's along the way, isn't it? Yeah, it's along the way.
No, oh, I'll get it later. No. To be honest, no, I'll bug it in the sprite now. Just gotta shoot that thing's gun off and then. I'm ready. Gotta be. had a gun attached to it, but I guess not. No heart piece. Do we have a heart piece? No heart piece. Oh well. Oh no. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a corrupted one.
Oh my god. for one day. Jesus. Man, I wasn't planning on taking on these two, but on oh, something this big really. Hmm. May I have to ditch something. something else behind. <sighs> Let's just get to the tall neck and I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> I think I've bloody had enough. Stay to play. See that one has a gun. He's got a gun. Whoopsies. Oh, that was good. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. No time to play. Safe coin up there. Your focus is receiving another signal. Then some snap trolls nearby, so you know what? It's good to place as any to try and get us. Uh... Oh, there, is it? Oh, there it is. Awesome! Alright, here we go. Stop right here. Save. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao, bye!